Hi, in this lesson, we're going to learn what is mined in Minnesota. Well, Minnesota has minerals and many, many other items that are mined in it. And let's start with a few key words. First of all, you might hear things referred to as ore, and that could be a body of ore or ore in the ground, spelled O-R-E, and that's rock with a mineral in it that we want or a desired product, okay? And tailings are where we pile up the desired waste ore, the part of the ore we do not want and do not choose to keep. Of course, one of the main things is iron. Iron ore, such as minerals like hematite and taconite, contains iron range. It's found up on the iron range up north. Um, hopefully, if you go to Widjiwagen, we'll visit the Tower Sudan Underground State Park Mine. Iron is used in making steel, and we produce more iron than any other state. Another important thing is clay. A lot of it is found around here in the Minnesota River Valley, and we make bricks out of it to build with porcelain, and we apply it to paper to make it shiny like you might find in the Sunday paper and the news and ads. Sand and gravel, often left over from where glaciers were here. We use it to make concrete, bricks, roads, buildings, etc., and fill. Silica sand, white sand, like when we went fossil hunting and we stopped at the first cave, that was all silica sand, really round, really smooth sand. It's actually in high demand right now for making glass and for fracking, in other words, putting it underground under pressure with water to drive, drive out oil and gas. Um, this is what is commonly known as fracking sand. Granite and limestone, especially near St. Cloud, there's huge granite quarries there, and we also get limestone um, carved off in the state of Minnesota for a variety of uses. Peat, like you might find it at a garden store, decomposing things. Another mined item here in Minnesota. Gold and diamonds are currently mined and there's a big controversy about allowing more mining for gold, diamonds, and other precious minerals in the Boundary Waters area. Um, there's a, an ore called kimberlite. It's deep and unconcentrated, but due to new techniques, we can get it out and start making a profit on it. Agates. Agates are mined or often individually found uh, on Operation Adventure. We go to Agate Beach and we search for them. They're an awesome mineral. There's other stuff. We don't actively mine it like copper, nickel, titanium, and manganese. Um, but who knows if mining techniques or the price change in the future, we could certainly mine them. Something to consider. In the state of Minnesota, we are mandated to reclaim old mines. Um, what is mine reclamation? Well, if you read the screen, it will tell you. And uh, it's very important because if you live near a mine or think of the environment, it's good to reclaim it back to a useful or natural landscape or some landscape we can use. I'll be quiet while you read for a moment. And what you're going to need to do for class tomorrow is come in with the answer to this. Please list the benefits of mining, what mining might benefit for our society, community, individuals, and what are the problems or negatives of mining for individuals, for our community, for everything. Be creative in your answers. You should have a minimum of three to five for each of those. And we'll see you when you come into class tomorrow. This has been a Gilbert production. Hope you loved it. Feel free to watch it again if you don't get it.